Hello, welcome to Mattel's and me, Mattel's being the study of stuff and me being Iri. Hi guys. Okay, so this video today is inspired by my younger brother, um, who's just getting ready to apply for unis. So I was just thinking, oh my gosh, like this is so like, is it apt or quaint? Anyways um i was just like oh okay other people like i don't know it just made me think back to when i was applying for unis and i was like oh my gosh like let's make a video okay so how to choose the right degree for you for now in my opinion if you're anything like me um you don't have a particular career choice or degree that you've been thinking of since you were like a baby or i don't know since primary school or something um but you know you want to go to uni or you know you have to go to uni depending on your situation or like the type of parents you have um and so like these are the three steps that i would advise to follow so step one at first assess i say abscess at first assess the subjects that you have so make a list of all the things you can apply to with the subjects you're currently doing at a levels or ib um so for example i was doing mass chemistry and spanish i could have done spanish chemistry i, could, I don't think i could have done math actually um i could have done chemical engineering um material science um i think environmental engineering as well um i probably could have also done like psychology i think i don't know there's a bunch of different things i i i didn't look at any i didn't look at a wide variety of courses but you can um and so step two for me would then be narrowing down that list to two options so hopefully you don't need to look at too many things like like while you're looking at the possibilities of what you can get in with your subject um you can sort of see what you don't even think is worth putting on your list basically so just looking at what tickles your fancy and then slowly narrowing down to two options i think some of the things that are worth considering are like employability um so like the likelihood of you getting a job with that course um also i guess pay that's important for some people um why am i lying it's important to me to um check the pay like can you actually eat if you do this at uni um and then also um i guess just pure interest like how interesting does the thing sound basically and then you narrow them down to your two and then that's where the bulk of it is going to start the bulk of your work is just starting with those two options everything else is like shallow googling basically um, but when you pick the two that you really think actually this can be for me now we can move on to step three step three is then choosing the one now there's more steps involved within this step three um the first thing would obviously be to talk to people um but talking to people i think you have to be careful with this because i spoke to um like a teacher and one of my friends who did physics a level and had like um a materials chapter within physics a level and she told me materials was boring and so that was the first like deterrent and then one of my like my i asked one i told one of my chemistry teachers i was interested in material science and he was basically telling me that oh it's quite physics heavy and you know you don't do physics a level so you might find that a bit tricky so there was two people who knew a bit about materials and they were just sort of like yeah they don't think so i do think you should like be careful who you talk to basically but i think talking to people is important because then that was still two different perspectives of materials um but i would also recommend whatever course you're thinking of doing maybe talk to somebody who's actually done it like at uni um or who's currently doing it at uni i think that would be very valuable um if you don't if, the, if there's no like person you can find online with a youtube channel talking about that course then yeah i think like find people like ask um friends of friends or like older siblings or older friends or i don't know 
make a linkedin account really and truly that's the way linkedin is the way so apart from talking to people i would say actually like your research your own personal research on the content of what you might potentially be studying is also important so for example like books podcasts videos um so for example like i don't know usually when people are writing their personal statements they have books they want to talk about inside and um i remember i read it wasn't even a materials book actually but that was before, i think it was more chemistry based yeah um but there was still materials content inside it it was like a book by philip ball philip ball b-a-l-l -L. i think it's philip ball um and he the book is about molecules basically um and it's called stories of the invisible and that was the first time i read about like um carbon nanotubes and like the strength of spider silk i also read stuff matters by mark mcdovnik which most people who want to do materials do read it's like that's what they tell you to read and if you read it and you don't like it then they will tell you that you might not like material science that's actually it um but i i to be fair even if you don't end up doing materials i actually think stuff matters is a book everybody should read um and the new science of strong materials by i think his name is john for podcasts i would recommend the materialism podcast um and it's a materials world um youtube channels materials and me i think maybe check that out um what else yeah that's about it i will if i like i will probably look up more sources and then i'll like put this in the description below um but those are just some things that you could probably check out and see if you've listened to the podcast you read those two books and you're still feeling like yeah no i don't know if this thing is for me then maybe leave it do option two that's it those are my three steps and um, i really think um you should think of the what and not the where um that's actually what my head of year told us when we were about to start applying to unis i was just like yeah sure whatever but i actually think it's actually a good idea like actually figure out what you want to do first before you start looking at unis because then it's like you're trying to decide two things at once and i think pick the what you actually want to study then you can choose which of the unis do it best for you um and so yeah i think actually just when you find the one then think of the where I actually also just want to note that I think it's okay to not know the career you want to go in as well. And I'm, I'm saying a lot of things of, oh, don't think about the where, don't think about the career. Like, I'm, it's not about, I'm not trying to tell you to not be responsible or to not think ahead. I just think, think of your life as like a game and you're at level three and there's like 20 levels um don't stress too much about level seven eight nine ten and above um you're at level three now just think about how you're going to get to level four um and yeah because i i think it's very easy for like to be at this stage and to just sort of like feel like oh my gosh everything is is so big every decision i make is going to make or break me and it really won't um like you can decide now you want to do chemical engineering it'll be sad if you do but let's say you decide to do chemical engineering you can like decide when you graduate that oh that was fun and then in masters switch and do one in materials or i don't know aerospace or the other way around like it's just like I don't think obviously the british system university system is not as flexible flexible as the us but three years doing something you're actually interested in and then changing your mind after is really not the worst thing so just think as, of this as the decision you're making for the next three years rather than a decision you're making for the rest of your life um and i think that might 
put you a bit more at ease and if you're this is the last stage of people that are going to be writing personal statements so if anybody would like my feedback um email me and i'll try my best to give you feedback <laughs> i'll put the email in the description box as well or on the screen um and i'll try my best to help you um yeah that's it okay now i can see my ending um if you've made it to this point in the video good on you good on me let's keep doing this